We get a lot of questions on socket and spigot fittings, and they can be confusing for first-time DIYers, but I think I can clear things up in just a few moments. PVC comes in two main connection types, spigot and socket. A spigot end acts like a male end, and a socket end works like a female end. And in other words, spigots fit into sockets. A spigot is glued on the outside, whereas a socket is glued on the inside. The most common spigot is a PVC pipe. It gets glued on the outside and is inserted into sockets. Spigot fittings are just fittings that mimic the outside diameter of the corresponding sized PVC pipe. As you can see, these fittings with a spigot end are exactly the same diameter as a piece of PVC pipe of the same size. The most common socket is any standard PVC fitting. To make things confusing, there are socket spigot combination fittings. These are the exceptions to the rule. In the case of these fittings, the socket is also a spigot. You'll always know when a socket fitting is also a spigot because they will typically be labeled as socket spigot and will often list the socket and spigot size. If you don't have a label to go by, you can usually identify them by a smooth and polished spigot and socket surface, free of any molding imperfections, maker's marks, or embossment. These aren't to be confused with bushings, which have a socket and spigot size listed, but these aren't interchangeable. Instead, the listed sizes for slip bushings, often called reducing bushings, always represent the transition from one pipe diameter to a smaller one. As you can see with these two fittings, one is just a socket, whereas the other is a socket spigot fitting. You can see how the socket-only fitting has markings on the outside, indicating it shouldn't be used as a spigot. It may be tempting to use a standard socket fitting as a spigot for the next size-up fitting. After all, it does seem to fit. Why not? The larger fitting does fit over the smaller one. As you can see here, with this fitting that clearly has embossed markings, the connection is loose when compared to the spigot fittings. While it may work temporarily, it will not make a secure and long-lasting connection. An elbow fitting like this will sometimes be referred to as a street elbow. This is because it has a socket on one end, and a spigot on the other. This same fitting, in particular, can also be considered a reducing elbow because one end is a combination socket spigot connection. While toe nipples are spigots, they are only spigots. Because they're made of thicker, Schedule 80 PVC, they are too thick to fit a spigot inside. There are, however, fittings like this one that have the same gray color that Schedule 80 PVC has, but are in fact Schedule 40 and are able to be spigot socket connections. You can tell by the thickness. As you can see here, the riser is much thicker. Here's an example of when understanding spigots and sockets can simplify your project. Say we want to tee off of this 3 quarters inch PVC line to install a line of polytubing. There are two ways to go about this if we're using slip fittings. We could use a 3 quarters inch slip tee. Then use a piece of 3 quarters inch PVC as a spigot to adapt to a 3 quarters inch socket. 1 inch spigot poly adapter. Or we could just use that same poly adapter and instead use a reducing slip tee that goes from 3 quarters inch on the left and right to 1 inch on the center and use the spigot end of the poly adapter to fit into the tee. Say we had 1 inch pipe here instead of 3 quarters inch. We could use a 1 inch slip tee and that same 3 quarter inch socket 1 inch spigot poly adapter to slip right into that tee. If you have to install a lot of these, using the spigot fitting could be a huge time saver during installation. While using PVC pipe as the spigot is by far the most popular way to connect PVC, spigot fittings are a great solution in tight spaces. They can also save time and materials as well as less gluing, which means fewer opportunities for leaks. There are tons of applications for spigot fittings like valve manifolds, adapters for hose threads, pipe threads, drip tape, or lay flat. If you found this video helpful, give us a like. If you have any questions left, please don't hesitate to drop a line in the comments below.